Piano Annie here and today we're going to do a riff that I call the GAC 66. GAC stands for G-A-C. Okay, so what you'll do is you'll hit the G-A-C, which is really just a C6 chord because here's a normal C6 chord. You have C, E, G, and then the sixth note, which is A. If you drop the C from the bottom and you put it on the top, you get a version of the C6. So we're just dropping the E for right now, and we'll be working with the G-A-C, which is pretty common in the blues. So G-A-C, and then we're going to add a sixth and a sixth. So this will be the first sixth, is the flat five, which is the G flat, and the flat three, but we put it up top, okay? And that's an E flat. So the G flat, E flat will be the first sixth that we'll hit with pinky and thumb, and then go down a half step and you get G and E. That'll be your next sixth. So it'll sound like this. Another way that we're going to do it will be to do the G, A, C twice and as triplets. So it'll sound like this. Okay. Then that'll be with when we're in the C position. When we're in the F position, we will do G, A, C again, and this will be our first sixth. It has an F on the bottom, so that will help you remember. It'll be F and D, okay? And then you'll go up a whole step here to G, and you'll go up a half step here to E flat. So it'll be F, D, and G, E flat. And you can do the fingering that's most comfortable for you. All right, so let's just hear how that sounds with the left hand. with me coming in on the number two if you use my method of calling this the one two three four five six seven eight I came in on the two so it was two three four and then I held this for five six and I held that for seven eight so one two three four five six seven eight the other option was to do the two triplets so in that one we start together on one. So it'll be triplet, triplet, sixth, sixth, triplet, triplet, sixth, sixth. All right? So what I like to do when I'm improvising is to play it first one way and then the other. So it might be like this. did it coming in on the two, three, four, and I just played the GAC once. And then the next time I did the triplets and I did one, two, three, one, two, three, sixth, sixth. Okay. You can figure out your own new ways to come in with it. Just using that pattern. Uh, something else you can do is to go down and turn it into a CAG 66 and go C A G. So it sounds like this. could even switch the order of the sixths. You could start with this one and then come up. So it would be like this. So you have a lot of elements to play with. Okay, so then what about when we get to our bar of G? Well, you can really do whatever you want. Uh, G is usually pretty safe doing the, whatever you did with C. So you could just do, or you could just make up something on your own. So I think a lot of times what I end up doing is just climbing up the G7 chord and then maybe adding on the top G and going back to the seventh like this. Something like that. 
And I might even do that because we only have one bar of F on the way down, so I might just climb up the F7. So let me just go through the whole thing and you'll see how it works. still pop up here to this a f six and then come down to the g e six which was part of what we used in the original uh when we did this that's where the g e came in so you would go a f g e and then just end it there with a or even a full c six chord all right so let me just take it from the g You might just be putting the GAC 66 in the middle of your improvisation and then you, you don't need an ending. You can always change what you do with the G, you can always transition to another riff. But that is the GAC 66. All right, I'll see you next time. <laughs>